What's up everybody, it's Alex Halfgrid here and today I'm going to show you how I or how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Um, I already made a um, starburst um, in Photoshop, so we're going to drag that in here. So we have this, I'm going to do, uh, I want to remove those black bars. So we're going to go to maintain aspect radio. Okay, so we got that. Alright, so basically I want to have um, a picture of me right here and um, the text right here and uh, yeah, well, you will see how when we go along. So right now I'm going to load in my picture um, in Sony Vegas. So I have this picture, I'm just going to drag it in. Oh, and, uh, and, and uh, to make sure you um, do everything correctly, you want to make a separate video track for every piece you're using into um, your timeline. So right now we're gonna just gonna, I don't wanna, all that woods and all the stuff, I just wanna remove that. So we're gonna go to um, event pan crop and we're gonna go um, at the bottom, it says mask. So we're gonna click that. Now we're just gonna enable your anchor creation tool. And we're gonna just gonna start masking myself out. Um, All right, it's pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna um, create a new video track. Not again, or we can just copy this, it doesn't matter. The control C and then control V, and then we're gonna change the text to in. Because I'm creating a thumbnail in Sony Vegas. All right, so now we have the in right here. Um, Maybe it needs a little shadow as well. Let me check real quick. Shadow, yeah, it's already enabled. 
So now we're gonna um, drag it a little bit to, the, to there. I'm gonna make it a bit taller. All right, I'm gonna make a thumbnail in. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. And then we're gonna um, load in the, um, the the logo of Sony Vegas Pro 12. So right now I already searched for a logo that has a transparent background. And then we're just gonna drag it in, in a new video track. And as you can see, the logo appears right there, but it's way too big, so I'm gonna resize it a bit. So now we're gonna click this again. And now we're just gonna go to the corner and just um, adjust it until it's about right. Position it a bit. It's a little bit too big. Right there. Yep, that's it. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna try a bit to the left, to the right. All right, all right, that's it guys. My thumbnail is now ready. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna click render as and then just image sequence and then we're gonna click JPEG or PNG or whatever you wanna, whatever type you wanna, uh, whatever type of image you wanna have. I just normally just click X, uh, GP, JPEG and then I just click render. So um, yeah guys, that's it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, subscribe this help if this helped you and stuff. And maybe you can leave a comment in what kind of software you make your thumbnails. Or um, if you like this video, please uh, thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.